So in this video, we are going to talk about why should you never use Shift D. Okay. So let me show you with examples. So uh, let's leave them. Now if I select this and press Shift D. Okay. Uh, notice something that number of words increase and my memory size increased as well. Let's again Shift D. Now as I use Shift D again and again, the problem with that is that it increased the number of vertices, faces, and the major issue is memory. So, for example, you are making a very big uh, project, and you have uh, some duplicates, you know, components. So, Shift D is a very not a good thing. So, what I can do with this? Okay, as you can read, it's one to eight. Let's delete all of them. So, what I have to do is select the component that you want to duplicate. Press Alt plus D. Now, notice something. That's number of words is not changed. Let's again duplicate it by using Alt plus D. Uh, notice that number of words are not changed and memory is safe. Now, you can also do the animation individually. So, what does Alt D basically do? It creates a copy, basically a reference copy. Okay, so if I want to do something with this one, I can do it but but the major difference between a shift to D and alt to D is that for example if I select this and press shift D now if I try to change or do any modification with original copy you can see all the alt D copy will change but not the shift to D one so that is the major difference but alt to D saves a lot of memory and your words counts so I highly recommend uh, to choose Alt plus D instead of Shift D because it saves a lot of memory and you know saves your computer memory especially in case of mine. So I hope you learned something from this video. If you have any kind of doubts and queries please read to us. Thanks for watching and have a great day.